chocolate eclairs. So easy to make. Let's get started. I love eclairs. If you say it's easy, I'll make it. First off, the custard. You're gonna add in two cups of whole milk. Two cups of whole milk. Use an actual vanilla bean. If you don't wanna like buy these, get vanilla bean paste. I don't have any of those options, so I'm just gonna go with the extract, aka dessert MSG. While my milk is heating up, let's get to the egg yolks. So I need six yolks from six diverse looking eggs. Add two thirds of a cup of sugar. Two thirds cup of sugar. My exercise for the day will come. Thank you for not using KitchenAid. One quarter cup of cornstarch. Nice and incorporated. Nicely incorporate one quarter cup of cornstarch. I have my hot milk mixture and use it to temper. Use the hot milk to temper the egg yolks. Strain it back in. Strain it back in. Whisk, 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 whisk. Squish, 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 squish. And we're done. And we're done. Cover with plastic wrap and let it chill in the fridge for a few hours. She was one of my all-time favorite things to make. So simple, it's basically foolproof. Does foolproof mean me proof? 113 grams of unsalted butter. Unsalted butter. One cup of water. One cup of water. Two teaspoons of sugar. Two teaspoons of sugar. Bring it to a rolling boil. Bring it to rolling boil. Take this off of the heat, dump in one cup of flour. Stir, 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 stir. Dump in one cup of flour. Skr, 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 skr. Into a stand mixer, start mixing it on like medium and cracking an egg in at a time. Guess he's done with exercise of the day. And mix with my hand on medium speed. And watch it separate like I did with my parents. Oh jeez, okay. Clinging, silky, falling away slowly. Clingy, not silky, reluctant to fall away. I'm transferring my dough to a piping bag fitted with a large star tip. That's an 869. Nice. The piping bag in a container and put in the dough. Slap it a few times to get the bubbles out. And then we're ready to pipe. I'm gonna try and pipe these out nice and pretty. Trying to pipe these out nice and pretty. I don't have a sheet tray big enough, so I'm using a wired rack. Gently brush the rest of the way. Gently brush with egg wash. Into the oven at 425 for 15 minutes. Reduce the temperature to 375. 20, 25 minutes. Goes into the oven at 425 for 15 and then reduce to 375 for 20. For the Eclair's chocolate glaze, I am gonna chop up five-ish ounces of a really nice dark chocolate. Five ounce of one year old chocolate. I have half a cup of hot cream. And half a cup of microwave cream. Look at this silky ganache. That's perfect. Look at the silky ganache. That's perfect. So we're gonna make a little bit of whipped cream with my stand mixer. It'll make it more pipeable too. Gotta make my custard pipeable even though all women in New York think I'm not. Yeah, yeah! The best way is to use a 230 piping tip. Definitely don't have that, so I'm gonna use a squeeze bottle. Everybody's so creative! And then just fill it up. All right, let's check on the eclairs. Fill, fill, fill. Take my hot dog buns and fill, fill, fill. That's very nice. Very nice. It's actually pretty nice. It farted on me. Let's take a look at me and he who I'm not supposed to worry about. Sexy? I don't know. <laughs> do you want me? I do. <laughs> Sexy and I do want it. Let's taste. Well, it's getting everywhere. The eclairs are filled to the rim. The bitterness from the chocolate perfectly complements the sweet, creamy pastry cream. Highly recommend. Just make sure you cool down the shells before piping, otherwise the custard will melt. Don't ask me how I found out. Alright, thank you.